Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Tyson and today I want to talk about diffusion filters. Uh, the reason I want to talk about diffusion filters is they have popped up uh, on the internet over the past year or two as a fantastic way to make your uh, film footage, whether it's shot on your smartphone, your DSLR, your mirrorless camera, whatever, make look just a little bit more cinematic uh, and give it a dreamlike quality. The problem with a lot of these tips is nobody tells you which one to buy, which one's the best value for your money, which one's gonna give you the effect that you're looking for, uh, or really even how they work. So today I'm gonna to talk about two different diffusion filters my, made by uh, different manufacturers and go over which one I think is the best value for your money and also show uh, some footage that I shot with uh, each of these diffusion filters so you can see for yourself side by side which one is gonna be a better option for what you are looking for uh, for your footage. So. Diffusion filters, pretty simple. What they do is they diffuse light. Uh, they will take light from uh, that's in your scene, especially if it's from a strong light source, and diffuse it across your sensor in a way that allows your image uh, to actually maintain its quality and its sharpness. So uh, that is a huge plus because it's a little bit different than just blurring your image or, or causing it to be a little bit out of focus. It's going to be sharp. It's going to look crisp. The edges are going to be clean, but you're going to have that diffused light look, uh, and it really does give it a dreamlike quality. So, uh, which diffusion filter should you get, right? Now, obviously this depends on the uh, goal or overall look you're hoping to achieve with uh, your footage, uh, but there's a couple top contenders out there, I, I guess you could say, uh, if you were just to go off of what the internet says. Uh, and the two that I actually saw compared quite a bit, or at least questions asked about quite a bit, uh, it was hard for me to actually find any information on the internet that showed the effects of these two diffusion filters side by side, uh, which is why I'm making this video, just so that there's something out there that you can look at uh, and see uh, what to expect from the two. But uh, the two the two brands that I'm looking at today are the Tiffin uh, Black Diffusion FX and the Moment Cine Bloom. Now you can find either of these uh, in a variety of places on the internet, whether it's uh, B&H or Amazon, uh, eBay, or either Tiffin's website or uh, Moment's website at shopman.com. Uh, I have to point out this video is not sponsored in any way. This is purely just for the sake of taking a look at these two different filters and seeing which one's best. Um, so what I've got here is the Moment Cine Bloom, 20% uh, strength. It also comes in a 10% strength. Uh, I went ahead and just ordered the strongest one that I could just for the effect and to see what it's going to do. Uh, it's a high quality filter. It's got great, uh, great glass in it and it has a really neat red, uh, I'm guessing aluminum, uh, ring around it. The Tiffin, also a very high quality filter, uh, comes in strengths ranging from one half to five. I ordered a three. I will point out right now that uh, finding these for sale online is very tough. They are back ordered uh, on both Tiffin and Moments websites, and subsequently on B&H and uh, Amazon, I assume, because they probably supply those sites. Um, if you can find them, though, they're both great options. They're both uh, very good quality, uh, built well, and uh, sturdy. As far as price goes, the Moment is probably a little bit cheaper than the Tiffin. Uh, Moment seems to range, if I remember right, on their website between about $40 up to about $70, depending on the size and the Tiffin Black Diffusion started at about 70 and uh, went up to just shy of about $150. Um, so there is a bit of a price difference between the two and neither one of them is what I would consider uh, cheap. Um, although as far as uh, quality filters go, I think that they're you know right in the ballpark of what you should expect to spend. Um, but if you're looking to get just one over the other, hopefully this video will help you determine which is gonna be a better fit for your needs. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some footage that I shot just around the house uh, that will hopefully give you a little bit uh, of an idea of what to expect from each of these. Uh, <laughs>
All right, so now that we've seen a little bit of footage taken with each of these filters, uh, let's talk about what we saw. So, in my opinion, uh, it looks like the Tiffin Black Diffusion FX filter actually gives a little bit less of a haze and dreamlike quality uh, than the Moment Cine Bloom, which might be okay depending on the goals of the project that you're working on. Um, it doesn't overdo anything, it doesn't overstate the diffusion, it doesn't create giant halos around light sources, um, but it, it still adds a little bit of that dreamy, hazy quality that you might be going for. In my personal opinion, I think I like the effects of the Moment Cine Bloom just a little bit better. Uh, it does create a little bit more diffusion and almost seems to remove a little bit of the contrast, uh, which you can edit back in if you wanted to in post, uh, but gives it a, a little bit more of a flat look, it feels like. Um, overall, it's going to set your footage apart just a little bit more than the Tiffin, I think, uh, which is great, again, if that's what you're going for. I, I personally like having both of these. I can use them interchangeably. Uh, for whatever it is that I need to accomplish. So let me know in the comments below which of uh, the filters you like best, the effects you like best. If you've used one or both of these in the past, let me know your experience, with, you know, whether you agree or disagree with me, I'd love to hear it. Um, and then make sure to subscribe. I plan on putting out a lot more camera related con content, cinematography, photography, mobile filmmaking. Uh, so if there's anything in particular that you'd like to, to hear about, learn about, uh, see in action, let me know below, and I will see about putting something together. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.